In this video, we are going to learn what is OSPF, which stands for Open Shortest Path First. And with that, we are also going to learn how to configure OSPF in a packet tracer. So watch this video till the end. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tag begin. So guys, as here you can see, in this example, we have two area, that is area 1 and area 2. In OSPF, area means two completely different network where the routers on area 1 cannot communicate with the routers on area 2. In the same time the routers available on the same area for example router 1 and router 2 are available on area 1 that is the same area means these two routers can communicate with each other. In the same time routers on the area 2 that is router number 3 and router number 4 even they can communicate with each other. But if the router on the area 1 try to communicate with the router on area 2, they cannot communicate with each other because these two are completely different network. Anyhow, if you want these two area to communicate with each other, that is also possible and this thing I am going to explain you at the end of this video. So watch it till the end. So I don't want to make this video too long. For this reason, I have already assigned the IP address on all the four routers and all these four PC. If you don't know how to assign the IP address on routers, then watch my first routing video. I will provide you the link in the description section below. Okay. So now let's configure OSPF on all these four routers. So let's start with the router number one. So let's go to the global configuration mode. Now let's enter the command to enable the OSPF. So the command is router space OSPF space enter the unique process ID. So here I'm going to enter as number 10 and hit enter. So this is how easily you can enable the OSPF protocol on the router. Now you have to add the network to which your router is directly connected to. So as you can see the router number 1 is directly connected to 1.0.0.0 network and the 10.0.0.0 network and these two networks you have to add on this router. Now how to add let's find out. So the command is network space enter the network id it is 1.0.0.0 space and see here instead of subnet mask you have to add the wildcard mask. Wildcard well mask is the complete inverse of the subnet mask. For example, the subnet mask of class A IP address is 255.0.0.0. So this 255 will get converted into 0.255.255.255. If you want to know more about wildcard mask, I have already made a video on my channel and I have also provided you the link in the description section below so you can watch it later okay now see the command is network space enter the network id space enter the wildcard mask space enter the area name so hence this router number one is in area one right so here enter the area name as one and hit enter so we have successfully added the root number one now let's add the second root which is 10.0.0.0. So now again run the command network space add the network id which is 10.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area name. So it, the area name is 1 and hit enter. That's all. We have only two network which is directly connected to router number one. So that is why we are going to add only these two root. Okay. Now press control plus Z to save these settings and hit enter. That's all. So we have successfully configured OSPF protocol on the router number one. Now let's configure the OSPF protocol on the router number two. So let's go to the global configuration mode. Now tell me what command you should use to enable the OSPF protocol. It is router space OSPF space enter the process ID. So in our previous router we have used the process ID 10. So even here also you should add the same process ID which is 10 and hit enter. Now see this router number 2 is directly connected to three different network. One is 1.0.0.0. 
second one is 2.0.0.0 and the third one is 20.0.0.0 right so you have to add all these three network to this router so the command is network space so first of all i'm going to add the network number one which is 1.0.0.0 so now type here network space 1.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area so even the router number 2 belongs to area 1 so here type area 1 and hit enter now let's add the second route which is 2.0.0.2 right so enter here network space so enter here network space 2.0.0.0 0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area which is area 1 and hit enter so we have successfully added these two root now let's add the root number 3 which is 20.0.0.0 so run the command network space 20.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area so this router is belongs to area number 2 so here enter the area number as 2 and hit enter press ctrl plus z to save the settings that's all so we have successfully added the ospf protocol on the router number 2 now let's add the ospf protocol on the router number 3 so let's get into the global configuration mode now tell me what command you should use to enable the ospf protocol it is router space ospf space enter the process id which is 10 and hit enter now what command you should use to configure the route it is network space enter the network id see router number 3 is also directly connected to three different network that is 2.0.0.0 3.0.0.0 and 30.0.0.0 so all these three network you have to add to the router number 3 so let's start with the network number 1 which is 2.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area number so the router number 3 belongs to area number 2 so here we are going to mention the area as 2 and hit enter got it now again let's add this second route which is 3.0.0.0 so run the command network space 3.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area name so router number 3 belongs to area number 2 so mention here area 2 and hit enter now let's add the third network which is 30.0.0.0 so run the command network space 30.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area number which is 2 and hit enter so we have successfully added all these three network to the router number 3 now press ctrl plus z to save this setting and hit enter that's all now let's configure the route on the router number 4 now let's enable the global configuration mode now tell me what command you should use to enable the ospf protocol it is router space ospf space enter the process id which is 10 and hit enter now see router number 4 is directly connected to 3.0.0.0 and 40.0.0.0 network so both these two network you have to add to this router so let's add the first network which is 3.0.0.0 so what command you should use to configure the route it is network space 3.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask so what is the wildcard mask for class a ip address it will be 
255.255.255 space enter the area so router number 4 is belongs to area number 2 so enter the area as number 2 and hit enter now let's add the second route so the second route network id is 40.0.0.0 space enter the wildcard mask which is 0.255.255.255 space enter the area so router number 4 is also belongs to area number 2 so enter the area as 2 and hit enter run the command control plus z to save the settings and hit enter that's all so we have successfully added the root on the router number 4 now let's try to communicate between all these four PC and let's find out whether they are able to communicate with each other or not. So I'm going to start pinging from the PC number one. So first of all, let's try to ping with the PC on the same area that is area number one. So I'm going to ping with the PC 20.0.0.2. So let's ping 20.0.0.2 and hit enter. So see guys here we are getting the error destination host unreachable. See these two routers are in same area. It means these two routers must be able to communicate with each other. But here we are getting the destination host unreachable means we have done some mistake while configuring the route. Now let's do the troubleshoot. So first of all I am going to ping with its gateway. So ping space, the gateway of the PC number 1 is 10.0.0.1, hit enter. So here I am getting the successful ping message, means until here the configuration is good. Now let's try to ping to this router. So the IP address of this port is 1.0.0.2, right? So let's ping. 1.0.0.2 and hit enter and even here the communication is good means till here I am easily able to communicate now let's try to ping to the first ethernet port of this router number 2 so the IP address is 20.0.0.1 and hit enter so here I am getting the error means on this router configuration we have done some mistake now where is the mistake let's find out so here we have added the first network area 1 ok second network we have assigned to the area 1 see guys here we have done the mistake this network we have assigned to the area 2 that is by mistake so we have to change it right for that first of all you have to get into the global configuration mode run the command router space ospf space enter the process id as 10 now let's re-enter the same route which is network space 20.0.0.0 enter the wildcard mask as 0.255.255.255 space enter the area number so earlier by mistake we have entered the area name as 2 so for this reason we are unable to communicate with this pc so let's re-enter the area and this time I'm going to enter the area as 1 and hit enter. So it says the area has been changed from 2 to area 1. Okay, press Ctrl plus Z to save the settings. Now let's try to ping from PC1 to PC2. This time it should be able to communicate with each other. So the IP address is 20.0.0.2 and hit enter. So first time you will get the request timeout error and after that you will get successful ping message. Got it? It means the PC number 1 is able to communicate with the PC number 2 because both these PC are in same area. Now let's try to communicate with the PC on the area number 2. So first of all I am going to communicate with the PC number 3. So its IP address is 30.0.0.2 hit enter. It says destination host unreachable. Why? Because this PC is belongs to completely different area. That is area number 2. Now let's try to communicate with the PC number 4. 
so the IP address is 40.0.0.2 hit enter even here you will get the destination host unreachable because even the PC number 4 belongs to completely different area that is area number 2 got it so guys this is how easily you can configure OSPF on the router in my next video I will show you how you can easily allow the communication between area 1 and the area 2 with that I will also show you few important commands with the help of that you can easily troubleshoot a network configured with OSPF protocol. So stay tuned. And guys whatever command I have used in this tutorial you can directly take a note from my website www.learnabhit.com or from my Android application Networking Plus all the link is given in the description section below. So guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below. If you have not yet downloaded my Android application Networking Plus then go and download it right now available on Google Play Store and also the link is in the description section below. With that if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing it and also hit the bell icon so that the time I will upload a new video you will get a notification update. Thanks for watching.